quite a few people have said, are you going to do a lockdown video, JP? Well, I suppose I am, but <laughs> you can't exactly make it very exciting, can you? Being locked down here is like being locked down pretty much anywhere else. You're stuck indoors and not doing a lot. <laughs> How exciting would that be to watch? But we'll give it a go. So it's a bit of a dog walk, the dog walk that we can actually do. And actually I went to Coraleco yesterday to Mercadona to do a big shop. So I might include that as well. I did actually video the journey there and back to sort of show how empty the place is, particularly going through Laharas. Um, can't think of much else to do really. Perhaps I'll find something else. We'll see how we get on. Well for the most part I think people are complying with all the regulations here. Um, I do see rather a lot of pickups on the road. They're predominantly the vehicles you see on the road and they're driven by locals so I think they think they're exempt and uh, knowing the local police they probably are. Rules don't apply to the locals. But anyway, as I say, most people are sticking to the rules and it actually seems to be working here. Uh, the last count, I think there was, there's been a total of 31 cases here in Fort Ventura. I think it was only, it was only two days ago, 21 live cases. Two people have, are in hospital and one was in ICU. So compared to uh, lots of other places, it's not too bad. Well, no deaths, I don't know why I've just said that. One of the things I hope is that when they finally look at relaxing things, that they don't say compare us to Madrid. Madrid's got loads of cases and loads of deaths and everything else and if we get to the point in a couple of weeks where there's no cases here I think we should be relaxed a bit but they probably won't they'll probably leave it nationwide so that we're stuck here indoors for the duration until Madrid is free of it or nearly free of it. But I suppose that would be applying common sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> Politicians know nothing about that. Well, we're doing our little routine walk. We're actually extended it a bit now. We're sticking to the 50 metres from your home rule for a few days, but then there's been some sort of a statement saying that the councils can't impose their own rules, which ours had. So it just means we can now do what they term a short walk, or a shorter walk. So that's what we're doing. So this is near my house, so we walk around here. And then I give the poor dog next door a few treats, because he lives in the garden, tied up, poor little thing. So. Alright Guru, you alright boy? Hang on, trying to get them. They're stuck in my pocket. Coming. Here you go boy. Here you go Guru. Poor little thing, that's his life there. He was the family pet. Now the poor little bugger spent the last five years tied up to that tree. It's appalling the way they treat dogs here, some of them. Well, we'll carry on. Well, today I had to relent and let Sue have a go at my hair because it was just getting ridiculously long. It's going to be at least a month, I would have thought, before uh, the barber's open again. And, well, she did a reasonable job, although I must admit it did remind me rather of uh, a harp beer advert from, I think, the 70s in England. And I'll show it now, provided I don't get a copyright strike. So, here it is.
So, we're walking along our little walk over here is the council grounds and this first bit is a, uh, a bit of a bird sanctuary. You've got some cages over there which I haven't seen anything in but uh, the one in front there are two Egyptian vultures in there. I just hope that they're being fed and by the look of it today they're not out. Oh yes they are. <laughs> One's coming up to see me. Let's have a look. Yeah as I say I just hope that uh, in this lockdown they poor little buggers are being fed. They have been eyeing up uh, these two as we've been by, so perhaps they haven't. He's just around the corner, see if I can film him. And there he is. And there's another one in there somewhere. That was exciting. Let's carry on boys. Right, you can see him better from over here. Zoom in. There he is. A bit better looking than some of the vultures you see. At least he's got uh, feathers all down his neck. I'll just give you a quick sweep around at an empty First Ventura. Not a car to be seen. Oh, there's two people walking a dog over there. I don't see that very often. But apart from that, it's empty. I think there are only three flights a day coming into the airport and out. One from Madrid, one from Tenerife, and one from Las Palmas, I think. Apart from that, the airport is closed. Well, we did have a private check came in a couple of days ago bringing 50,000 test kits. I've nearly finished cleaning the pool. Not that it's warm enough for us to swim in it yet. Oh, where was I? Oscar just tied me up in a knot and nearly made me fall over. Um, oh yeah, bye. Drove all the way to Coraleco and back yesterday. Didn't see one police car. And. The other day they were turning people away, or turning people around, telling you to go to your local supermarket. So you didn't see one. Oh look, now they've done it again. God, what? You two do it, do it bloody deliberately, don't you? Oh, I'm sure it's a game for them. See how many times we can get John tied in a knot in a walk. He's eating grass. Silly dog. I just had to stop him eating a bit of long dead rabbit. Sometimes you give him his dinner, you know, nice food, and he sniffs at it and goes, oh, don't know whether I like this or not. But he finds a bit of rabbit that's been dead six months lying outside and he can't try and eat it quick enough. I know what I was going to say. That I'm quite looking forward to going out when this ban is lifted and going around to places and seeing just how empty the island is without tourists. That should be quite interesting. 
Yeah, I'm sure a lot of the bars and restaurants are going to go bust because even when the ban is lifted, there'll probably be at least a month before we get any tourists here. So even if they do open, there's only going to be locals to use them and there aren't enough locals around to uh, make most of the bars and restaurants worth opening. So we'll have to see. It's certainly going to change the island, I'm sure. But then I guess it will be the same in lots of uh, places in the world. This dog is such a wimp. Come here. Is that it? God, he's a wimp. He keeps getting little things stuck in his foot and stands out like pathetically. Oh, I can't move. Something's sticking in my foot. And I have to stop and get whatever it is out about four or five times in a walk. Whereas Jensen, he just carries on. You can see sometimes that he's got something, he just limps a bit or he shakes his foot, but not wimpy Oscar. And this is what it's like outside. Empty, empty, empty. No vehicles on the road there. Not that it's a that busy a road to Katia, but uh, it's very rare to not see any cars. And oddly, you know, there's nobody walking about either, or very few people ever. Yet, yeah. these two dogs have barked at more things outside in the last three weeks than normal. What are they barking at? Oh, they're doing our head in. Anybody want a couple of dogs? And this is the other allowable thing we're allowed to do. Aren't we lucky? We can take our rubbish to the bins. Oh well, one good thing about taking the rubbish, I can say hello to my little friend next door. Dovey the dog. Bless her. Hello girl. You alright sweetheart? You alright go? What are you doing? You've got a bit of stuff stuck in your face. No treats for you today. Sorry. See you later, go. Bye, go. See you later. Okay, well, that was it really. I say, not a lot going on here, so thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye. Bye from them. A very pretty sky tonight. It's been a while since I've seen a good sunset.